Hello and welcome to Fine Art of Cooking. I'm Marie. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to quickly whip up these crispy crab stick appetizers. It's one of those super simple last minute recipe. So let's get started. I bought this one pound package which contains 30 crab sticks. These are pre-cooked and ready to use. Each steak is individually wrapped to protect its shape, so it's perfect for this recipe. Just carefully unwrap each one. As you may know, this is not real crab. It's actually made from a fish called pollack. That means this is lean protein. Okay, let's prepare our ingredients for deep frying. Here are three trays that serve as my breading station. The first one will contain the flour and seasoning. We'll use one cup of all-purpose flour, one good teaspoon of garlic powder, one teaspoon of paprika, one teaspoon of black pepper, and a teaspoon of salt. These spices are strictly my personal favorite. You can add any seasoning of your choice. Toss the ingredients together. And by the way, this is the only tray to which we need to add seasoning. The middle tray will be used for the egg wash. Mix together one egg and one tablespoon of water. Beat the mixture to combine them. The last tray will be the breadcrumbs. Yeah, I think one cup is plenty for this job. Now, to avoid getting both your hands sticky, use one hand to handle the dry ingredients and the other for wet ones. To begin, use your dry hand and dredge the crab stick through the flour. Just shake off the excess flour and then drop them into the egg wash tray. And don't forget to switch to your other hand for this step. Roll the sticks around to make sure they are fully coated with the egg mixture. From here, transfer them to the breadcrumbs. And remember to switch back to the dry hand. Coat each stick generously. The crumbs will seal in the flavors as well as make your crab sticks crispy. We'll repeat the process until all the sticks are breaded. To prevent some of the crumbs from falling off later, I usually turn them over and let them rest for about 5 minutes before cooking. We'll deep fry them with vegetable oil. I like using canola oil because it has a high smoke point and doesn't feel greasy. It's an ideal oil for deep frying. I'm going to set the flame between medium to high setting. Bring the oil temperature to about 350 degrees Fahrenheit. If you don't use a thermometer like me, moisten one end of a chopstick and dip it into the hot oil. It will sizzle when the oil is ready. We'll cook the sticks just a few at a time so we don't lower the oil temperature too much. It takes only 2 minutes to cook them. Please them out when they've just turned golden color. Be sure to use paper towels to soak up excess oil. Repeat the process until all the crab sticks are cooked. Our appetizer is done. That didn't take long at all. Now let's put this on a serving plate. A spicy dipping sauce goes well with this appetizer, so we'll put it in the center and then arrange the crab sticks around it. I like adding some tomatoes and cucumber slices to the plate. Once you are pleased with the arrangement, Adjust the pieces so they are neat and tidy. Voila! Here we go. Mm, 
Mmm, it's crispy and flavorful. I think you're going to like this one. Thank you for spending your precious time with me today. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below. I love hearing from you. If you haven't already, I invite you to subscribe to my channel. I hope to see you back here soon with another delicious recipe. Bye!